took to the streets of Wellington this afternoon and I asked this question. You've heard about the minimum wage in society. Yeah. What do you think about society or New Zealand society introducing a maximum wage? I would think so, yes. I suppose it seems right that there should be a maximum wage given the, the amount of inequality in New Zealand. I mean, in theory that sounds lovely, but I don't think it's very practical, is it? Definitely, as long as it's for the pensioners. As long as it's for the pensioners. <laughs> Yeah, that would definitely make sense. It'd be make a lot more fair. I am CEO. I'm not making a cent. <laughs> I don't think it's totally fair. They've earned the right to earn their money, so it's up to them. Really. Up to them. Yeah. It'll help stop the inequality, though, wouldn't it? You know, people getting paid, you know, average of sixty grand a year, and then you've got these CEOs who are earning what, one point eight, one point nine? No, it's it's outrageous. But um, I mean, that's human beings, isn't it? I mean, everyone can end. Lots of money, I guess. I pay myself about zero dollars a week, so I'm on absolutely nothing. And I'm going to sell my house if I have to, to um, keep the business going. I think some of the CEOs of different things are getting far too much. What can they do with it all? There's only so many Fiji holidays you can have and, and you know, go to Las Vegas and blow it all. Is that what you do? <laughs> I don't Fiji know. holidays in Las I've Vegas? Never, I've never... <laughs> I've been to not break it in the caravan park. That's as far as I... <laughs> There you go, Todd Blackley, only so many Fiji holidays you can have. What do you think about this? I mean, David Hisco, ANZ, yeah. $4.1 million a year. Yeah, well, I think that... No, 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 just, just, just think about that for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's a lot of money, but we think that that's actually um, a matter for the private companies that are deciding how much they want to pay these people. We're more focused on, as a government, um, You've got those who are on very low you? incomes, that's and that's party. what we're focused the on, trying to introduce out. more jobs, increase the uh, no, average wage, no, no, come wage, on, it's pretty outrageous, more people because, because what happened is that there was a 14% rise in his salary, as an example, from 2012 to now. Yeah. 4.1... He gets a 14% rise, what does the average worker get? Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with the government. That's, a, that's the option of the company to, to determine how much they want to be able to pay their employees. OK, then. We're focused on the, those who are on low incomes, very low incomes, and we think that the best pathway to success is by having a job and the by best pathway, uh, working through uh, what do you, increased wages. What do you hear when you hear that? What do you hear? Should salaries for CEOs be capped? You know, what I hear when I hear to Todd talk like that, I just hear rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. Look, uh, it's about <laughs> recognising that disparity is bad for the, uh, for the country. We need to uh, grow our economy so that people can be paid more. I mean, I, I, you know, if CEOs are going to get paid those outrageous amounts, it's about actually helping the people. Can I ask you something? Us. Is it a moral? Is it a moral issue? <sighs> yeah, uh, those, those amounts, those real high amounts, are immoral in my opinion, but we need to grow the economy. Um, you know, I'd like to think that... Uh, <clears throat> that everyone just pays their fair share so we can help the people who are less Russell, fortunate. Russell, what do you think? I mean, I know it's not climate change, um, but is it a moral issue? Is it, a, is it an issue when CEOs get paid, what, two million, three million, 25 course, times yeah, the yeah. average New Zealand salary? Yeah, what yeah. are your thoughts? Sure. Should it be capped? Sure, I mean, I, I think there's no question it's a moral issue. It's no question it's a problem for our society. Um, and there's, you know, there's not a lot of easy answers. Our approach was, firstly, make sure you have progressive taxation. So if you're going to earn lots of salary, that you pay decent amounts of tax, of course. Uh, the next thing is actually transparency. So there's not a lot of transparency about a lot of these um, very high salaries and the ratio to what ordinary workers get paid. And then the other part of it is increasing the incomes at the bottom end as well, which is about minimum wage and benefits and all that kind of stuff. If you were offered a $2 million salary, would you negotiate down? Well, yeah, I mean, if you look at the CEO of the warehouse, I mean, he basically said that he was he didn't want one of those really high salaries because he didn't think it was right. What do you reckon, uh, Tracy? John Minto said uh, when he was in Mana, John Minto said that salaries should be capped at quarter of a million dollars because that's that's really all you really need. What I, do you I think? Mean, okay, yes so or no? To a quarter of a million dollars? No, no, no. I'm not, I'd, I'd say no, but I'm going to explain why no because this is a cultural shift that happened to us since the 1990s. Once upon a time, and I'm going to use men as an example, once upon a time you were a good man. If you looked after your family, you went out to work, you came home with the wages, and nobody judged you on what sort of car you drove or what, how much money you got in your pocket. You were judged by how you looked after it and added to your community. Now, we've completely lost it through the changes of the 1990s. That money is by which you are judged. Now, it is, it is actually, it's disgusting for somebody to earn $5 million for running a company to create a profit for shareholders. 
when what the worker's creating the profit for that share, and I know I sound like a socialist, the worker's creating the yeah, profit yeah, for that yeah, share yeah. are earning minimum wage. It's disgusting. What about, it's not necessary. What about, what about Fletcher Buildings, Mark? Okay, what about Fletcher Buildings, Mark Adamson, quoting him, people need to be recognised handsomely for what is massive value add. No. People need to be recognised. There's another way to recognise people. It used to be about your honour, Mr Seymour. It used to be about actually your work ethic. Whoa, 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 it used to be whoa, whoa, whoa. about what Let's, you did for your no, community, um, not about money. Stop, stop, leaving you now, leaving you, Damien. All right, um, I'm... I'm <laughs> Hello, how are you? Sorry, that, I just, that just got me there. Um, from Strategic Plans, John, it's John McGill. John McGill, I, it was the, uh, now you're the CEO, uh, on $4 million a year? At least. At least. Is it immoral, I mean, we, these aren't the questions we practiced beforehand, but don't worry, we'll get to them. Is it immoral for someone to earn $4 million a year as a CEO in New Zealand? That's a personal opinion. Everyone's got an opinion on pay, what they're paid, and what other people are paid. Is it immoral? I'm, I'm asking for your opinion, you don't think so? My opinion, no, it's not. Okay. So. The question we were, we were talking about before, if you pay more, if you paid the CEO of Fonterra six million or seven million or eight million, are you gonna get a better CEO the more you pay? It's not quite as simple as that. The, uh, the CEO pay is determined these days by a number of factors. There's demand, there is how they pay their people, there's the international side of the market, which does affect big organisations. So really simply though, if you said, if you were, now you're not in CEO recruitment, but if you, were, if you set the CEO's salary too low, like say just four million when it should be six, are you gonna get a worse quality person in that job? Ultimately, it depends on their performance. You don't know what you're gonna get until they actually start their job. The way pay is structured is very important. We talk a lot about American companies. Their pay is such that the fixed amount they get is very low. The big dollars are earned through options and short-term incentives. Okay. Uh, w over the last 10 years, CEO salaries we were discussing before, um, before the show have gone up a lot more than workers. Is that because the CEOs have become more valuable, the workers are less valuable? Is it a CEO seller's market? Well... <laughs> <laughs> They're greedy. They're greedy. There, there's a number of issues. D demand is very important, and that mustn't be forgotten. The... The importance of doing the job is, uh, is just a lot more than it used to be. Um, Russell Norman mentioned transparency. We do have more transparency. The perverse side of it, and I actually personally think we should have uh, even more than we do at the moment, but the perverse side of it is that in publicising the information, it actually does start to drive up pay uh, in its own right. That's a really interesting point. So you were saying that the more transparent we become with CEOs' salaries, um, the more the other CEOs go, oh, well, I want that, I deserve that, whereas that's not happening at the lower levels. It does happen with CEO pay. It's quite well documented, particularly in North America and Europe.